Black History Month you find ridiculous. Why? You're going to relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you do with yours? What, which month is White History Month? No, well, no, 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 come on, tell me. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay, which I'm month is Jewish History Month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh, oh, why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, no, no. I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? And Stop still... talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace. You know me as Morgan Freeman. You understand what I, I know this white guy named Mike Wallace. You know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, we know CNN. We know the propaganda machines. We know what the narratives are are supposed to be in the United States of America. Now, you can look at it from a conservative standpoint. You can look at it from a progressive standpoint. However you look at it, Morgan Freeman is about to shut down Don Lemon and his race hustling ways. How? Well, I'm going to show you how. Make sure to hit the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Join the Rumble. Join the Locals. Let's get into this. Now, to give some context here, Morgan Freeman, I've, I've seen a couple of clips of Morgan Freeman speaking about race. He reminds me of Denzel. Which one do you guys prefer? Do you guys even like Morgan Freeman? Let me know down in the comments. Well, he's talking about a show he has coming out. And he's basically in this show. It, it, the question proposed here is, is poverty in our genes? All these questions about race, poverty, rich, poor. You guys already know. The race hustling questions are about to come in Morgan Freeman's directions. From then and now don lemon so let's take a look at this oh man this is a classic we're going to take a look at the full segment here let's go throughout history a select few have claimed enormous wealth as a birthright some of them say they also inherit qualities and virtues that keep them rich could the chasm that separates rich and poor really be the result of our dna Scientists are trying to discover if there is a biological reason the rich stay rich and whether equality and prosperity for all contradict the laws of nature. You also get personal, you share a bit of your life story in the show. You talk about growing up collecting bottles to go into movie theaters. Do you think poverty is part of genetics, answering your questions? No, uh, it, it, you can't say that. I don't think, uh, uh, well, personally. I don't think wealth and, and genetics have anything to do with each other, actually. Um, if you're born in the U.S., it really doesn't matter uh, the condition of your birth. Mm -hmm. What matters is what you inherit from your nurturing, from your environment, uh, whether or not you're going. If you, I mean, I'm just as, from the standpoint of having been born with little. Uh, you can hear, you can always get out of that. Poverty is just what environment thing. affects. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> you see, uh, what the way he's breaking it down here is that in America, if you are born that way, it doesn't matter whether you're born rich or poor. You have the opportunity to get out of it on your own and become the best person that you can possibly be. Now, I used to be one of those people that used to be like, well, it doesn't matter. You're going to be poor no matter what because that's the way the system is and all this white supremacy, this boom, 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 boom. And I will make all the excuses in the world to why I or people around me weren't getting better. So he, the way he's answering it, it's not the best. Once again, people have seen the clips of Don Lemon and Morgan Freeman before, but the full segment is unbelievably amazing. Let me go back here. Same point of having been born with little. Uh, you can hear, you can always get out of that. Poverty is just... But environment thing. affects. Yeah. If, say you're born uh, as one of the untouchables in India. Mm -hmm. There you are. And if you're born into the super rich, there you are. Here... You can be born to the super rich, but three, four generations down the line, it's gone. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's here's in a stat, this country. Here's a stat from, uh, from your show, and it says that the richest 85 people on this planet have as much money as the poorest, 3.5 billion. Yeah. yeah, right. That's on the planet, however. You know, that's 
It's not far off in America. The, no, it isn't far off in America, but we still, and we still here don't abandon the idea that it isn't finite. Yeah. It isn't finite if you were born. Where were you born? Me? Yeah. Baton yeah. Rouge, Louisiana. Baton, Baton Rouge General Rouge, Hospital. Baton Rouge. There you go. Louisiana. I was born in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I had a long haul uh, from where I came from to here, but here we are. Right. So proof is in the proof of the pudding is in the eating, and here we sit at the dining table. But it's hard to when you say that to some people because they say, "Oh, there you go with a pull yourself up by the bootstraps thing," and you know you're just being respectable. Not everybody can do that. Everybody can. <laughs> oh man, that's the. I'm not gonna lie, that's the classic line. BS. He called BS. BS quickly, man. Quickly. Thing, and you know, you're just being respectable. Not everybody can do that. Everybody can. Everybody doesn't. Courage, courage is the key to life itself. There are a lot of people who are born in situations where they say, well, I just, I'll never get out of this. So they won't. Right. I say to people who say, well, I, I would like to have done so and so and so. So well, you could have done it. Mm -hmm. So, well, I couldn't get out of here. Man, the bus runs every day. <laughs> <laughs> You're exactly right. Yeah. You're exa if there, if there, if you can conceive it in your mind, if you can think of it, you can do it. That's the human condition. Right. If we can imagine it, we can do it. Right. And I think that the the, the condition of each individual human. Right. So uh, when you, this the whole thing, especially the president and Democrats now are talking about. It. <laughs> Don Lemon is. A, oh, we got to move on. We got to move on. Wait, wait, wait. He just dropped too many facts. We got to move on to the next topic. Next topic. We can't. We can't. We can't. Because he, he, he's a black man. He's successful. He's doing his thing in America. We got to move on. We can't talk about this. We can't show people that it's possible. He just said, pull yourself up by the spool straps. You can't. No. <laughs> oh, boy. I think that the, 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 the condition of each individual human. Right. So uh, when... You, this, the whole thing, especially the president and Democrats now are talking about income inequality, and that's basically what, you know, when you talk about the richest 85 people on the planet, right? Yeah. It's income inequality. Do you think that's, looking at, you know, what's happening in the news now, is that a good idea? Do it's you a great think? idea. It is the greatest idea. Uh, we have a much more vibrant society when we don't have such a vast chasm between the haves and the have-nots. We need uh, that middle ground that we call the middle class, the people who buy everything, people who use the uh, products that the rich are creating, if they're creating anything other than wealth, right? right. So it's, it's what's happening with the Chinese economy right now. They're changing their whole outlook because they need consumers. And without a middle class, you're not going to have consumers. You're not going to have it at the level that we normally would have it. So can, we, can I go back to you? Because I, I, I thought what you said was fascinating because you called it bull when you said people can't, you know, pull themselves up. He goes back. He got to clear it up. They, yo, yo, uh, Don, Don, you have to clear it up. You have to at least try to win this so, so that way we can keep on pushing our narrative. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I'm going back to it right now. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, let, let's finish it off. Do you, Do you think, think that, that race way? plays a part in wealth dis distribution or either a mindset that you can't Today? or cannot? Yeah. No. You don't? No. I don't. I don't. I, you and I, we're proof. Why would race have anything to do with it? Stick your, put your mind to what you want to do and go for that. Uh, it's kind of like religion to me. It's a good excuse for not getting there. Yeah. You know, I said, and it's probably getting me in trouble, but I said to some of my colleagues recently, said, so I know that it's an issue, but I've been, it seems like every single day on television I'm talking about race and it's because of the news cycle, it's in the news, but I'm so, sometimes I get so tired of talking about it, I want to I wanna just go, this is over, can we move on? And, and if you talk about it, it exists. Right. Yeah. It's not like it exists and we refuse to talk about it, 
but making it a bigger issue than it needs to be is the problem we have. So I understand you recently had a birthday. You're 27. Gotta move on to the birthday. Happy birthday, Morgan Freeman. We can't, we gotta stop. It's over. It's over. It's over. You've debunked everything we've ever believed in. No. Listen, this is classical. Classic, ladies and gentlemen, classic Morgan Freeman. You keep talking about it, it exists. You can do it, you can do it. No, they don't want to hear that. There's a system out there bringing all of us down. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? This is a classic interview. Classic. Woo! Morgan Freeman laying down the smackdown on Don Lemon, who's not even with CNN anymore. <laughs> Be, and you know what's crazy? You would have thought that Don Lemon would have learned here, but he didn't. He didn't, ladies and gentlemen, because it wasn't beneficial to him or CNN. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you like this video? I love this video. Shout out to you guys for being here. Make sure to hit the like button and follow me on Rumble and join the locals. I love you guys.